Hey, pal. This station tests particulate matter in the air. Now, you'd probably have some science jargony way to say this, but basically, too much is not good. Hmm. Readings are troubling, but inconsistent. The only way I'll figure out what's going on is to test nearby emissions. But I've got other problems. The sampler's detecting toxic particles. Better check it out. That steam vent's a good place to start. There's something in here that doesn't belong. Let's analyze it. Mercury. Bonded with... something else. I can't tell what. This obviously isn't confined to one building. A lot of people are at risk. See what a sample from this can tell me.
nitric acid in there too, but also something else. I'm on the right track, just need to keep following the trail. This is more widespread than I thought. The whole neighborhood's in danger from this. Stinks to high heaven. Time to find out what's in it. Ethanol. Why is this sounding so familiar? Mercury with nitrogen and ethanol. Gotta get back on the trail. When this is over, I'll alert the health department so they can check on the local residents. I found the problem. Caustic chemicals are leaking out of those barrels and into the plumbing. Need to clean up the site fast. Huh. The calcium and silicon in concrete makes it an ideal absorption material. Looks like I'll have to make a mess to fix this mess. One down. Nice, it's working! Just a couple more barrels. <laughs> Gotta stay above, that's it! Sealing the grate with webbing should stop any residual drainage. That could have been way worse. Harry's research station just proved why it needs to stay open. is Little Tokyo. Over. Hey, Pete. 
So this station monitors water pressure down to the individual building. Structures above four stories use water towers to augment the city system. The idea is to identify problems before they spread. You know? Whoa. The pressure in this building's all over the map. I need to find out why. The water towers connect to the city's system at the four-story mark. I'll scan the pipes, try to see where this starts. Pipes are fine up here. Whatever's causing this, it's lower. Here's the problem. Valve's at the wrong setting. Easy enough to fix. That shouldn't have happened. I better seal these fast before Jameson pins it on me. Got it. Even better than duct tape. Just call me the amazing spider plumber. All fixed. Et voila. Just in time. Got it. Class one. Those won't hold long. Pressure shouldn't be that high. Unless the drainage is blocked. I'll check the outlet pipe. The outlet pipe's down by the waterfront. I'll go see if anything's blocking it. Now I ask, how many other heroes fight crime and fix your shower? And now Oscorp can't deny Harry's station stopped a public utility meltdown. on police. Officers needed in Upper Chinatown. This station's simple, but really important. It measures toxins in the air, way more sensitive than anything the city has. Bad air hits children and the elderly first. This was a big one for my mom. If his data is accurate, there's way too much sulfur dioxide in the air. I have a spidey hunch this is caused by inefficient engine exhaust. If I get some fresh samples, I can identify the make and model and report them. Oh, that one's 
smell! <coughs> Just a couple more. <coughs> We have three guilty parties. I'll need to get pictures of them for proof. Taking pictures. Just like the old Bugle days. Life was so much simpler back then. Keeper. Get a recall ordered, courtesy of your Earth friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Spider fanboy tried to troll me, as the young people say, by claiming Spider-Man was providing a public service plugging leaks in water towers. Let me tell you why this itsy bitsy brain spider was climbing this particular water spout, people. Because he tampered with the water pressure system. He was seen earlier messing with a valve that only qualified workers are supposed to use. Wake up, America! Spider-Man creates the problems he then solves, then expects you to reward him with your adoration. The sad thing is, all too many do. Fortunately, you know better, thanks to me. This is one of Mom's earliest projects. We were trying to develop a bacteria that would dissolve all the plastic in the oceans. But we, um, well, she ran out of time. Like, if you have any ideas, it would really mean a lot. Hmm. With some genetic tweaking, I might be able to crack it. But I need a better equipped lab. And the bacteria only lives in liquid environments. Wait, my web fluid? I can keep the bacteria alive in my web cartridge. 
ESU should have the chemicals I need to increase its power. Oh man, the bacteria dissolved my web. It's in the cartridge for the webs I swing from. The other kind should be okay. Now I have to get to ESU without swinging from anything. Whew, the zipline webs seem fine. Well, I'm getting a heck of a workout. Gotta hustle. I don't know how long this bacteria stays viable. This is good practice for if my web shooters ever malfunction. You'd think these people never saw a guy jogging on walls. Okay. By law, they have to dispose of their chemicals in these containers. All set. Now I have to get to Dr. Octavius' lab to combine everything. I'll just take the subway and the bacteria won't survive that long. Okay, now I just need to grab the bonding agent. And now the industrial centrifuge that'll get the bacteria out of my web fluid so I can store it properly. Just need to isolate the bacteria. Beautiful. I think I improved the bacteria. But I can only tell for sure back at Harry's research station. Parker says the interface is dangerous, but the boy's a neophyte. Never truly created anything. Thinks we can stay on the sidelines, avoiding the mud. Men died to found this nation. They died to get us to the moon. Every great push forward demands blood. And this next push... This push to rid ourselves of Norman's stink. It may yet be the bloodiest of them all. Not gonna let that happen, Doc. He 
was planning this right under my nose. Was it just an idea in his head until the interface pushed him over the edge? How long was he using the device before I realized? The neural interface is exacerbating Doc's rage. He may not be able to come back from this. Defense contracts. He was designing gear for my greatest enemies this entire time. Probably thought it was funny with me making Spider-Man's gear just next door. Should have my web swinging back. Let's see. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, sweet web swinging. I'll never take you for granted again. I hope this works. I remember when Harry's mom started the project. It meant so much to them both. Where there's a web, there's a way. Here's the testing receptacle, full of plastic. Let's see what happens. It's working. Not as fast as I'd hoped, but better than before. Probably needs further testing. It didn't get all the plastic, but it's a big step forward. Enough for Oscorp to keep working on it. They'd win the Nobel Prize. And it wouldn't hurt their stock price either. active. Full battle rattle. Lethal force authorized. Sorry, forgot my ID. How about I prove who I am by kicking? Get him to the ground! <laughs>
Sable's after me now, too. As if I didn't have enough to worry about. Hey Pete, this station's one of my pet projects. I always thought the cellular network was vulnerable to terrorist attacks, so I set this up to monitor it. Can you do me a favor? Look for anything suspicious. Uh-oh. It's not terrorists, but there's a glitch in the system that's causing interference. And if I don't fix it, it'll bring the whole network down. Right now it's only affecting the most sensitive equipment, like mine. I need to stay outside the areas of interference while I fix the cell towers. I set my lenses to show me the danger zones. Gotta fix the cell towers before the whole city's comms go down. Ow, ow, ow! That's the downside of all the tech in my mask. That hurt. One down. But I'll need to fix three more to solve the problem. Bet I can use those helicopters to swing. So much depends on cellular networks now. A crash would affect police. Ah, felt like my eardrums were gonna burst. And soon that'll happen to everyone. Got it. The job's only halfway done. Oh man. I wish there was a way to fix this. Okay. Let's not do that again. That one fixed. Bought me some time, but I can't slow down. Can't waste a second. Getting to be a tight squeeze. Now New Yorkers can share their domestic disputes on the subway again. And emergency services are safe, which is, you know, also important. If the network had crashed, it would have cost Oscorp a bundle to fix their comms. They'll want to keep this station up and running. Harry's project should be safe.
else heard reports of Spider-Man literally seeking out clouds of smog to swing through? Is this the behavior of a sane individual? I'll tell you what I think is going on here. When I was a lad, there was a problem with juvenile delinquents sniffing glue to get high. Knowing Spider-Man's weak moral character and thrill-seeking personality, I'd guess the same principle is at work here. But inhaling toxic substances also damages the brain, which actually explains a lot about Spider-Man. He's swinging through the city, hopped up on smog! Ground teams, report on the situation in the Flatiron. We have ordered a crowd of civilians to disperse and are detaining those refusing to comply. Arresting people for peaceful protest? Not on my watch. Hey, you do know you're the bad guys here, right? Inside that car. They're pinned by debris. People are still trapped. Need to help fast. Everyone's safe. 
I should let fire and rescue do their jobs. This station analyzes thunderstorms and acts as a failsafe for the others. Now, they're all susceptible to lightning strikes, which would erase their data banks. If they're in danger, they'll automatically transfer their data to Oscorp's servers. Just make sure it works, okay, pal? There's a storm threatening now, and the automatic transfer isn't working. No time to write code now. I'll have to manually link the research station data hubs. Then I need to go to the top of the Oscorp building and align their receivers. First data hub's right over... Okay. My lenses should show the other hubs in red. Got it. Now to make more links in the chain. It's getting bad out here. Got it. Uh-oh. The receiver's energy is giving me a positive charge, which means I'm at a high risk for lightning strikes. My charge is increasing. I gotta move fast or I'll get zapped. Uh-oh. The receiver's energy is giving me a positive charge, which means I'm at a high risk for lightning strikes. My charge is increasing. I gotta move fast or I'll get zapped. One more down. Stop to celebrate. My costume's insulation can protect me a little, but I can't afford many hits.
quickly try to kill us. Except when it tries to kill me. Typically, I know why this is happening, but it's hard not to feel like the universe is against me right now. Whole city's one giant bug zapper. Getting pretty good at this. Time to admire the view. Slow down, I'll be extra crispy. I need to get to Oscorp Tower.
Gotta aim these away from their satellites and toward each other. Spider spins a data web. All the research data is going to Oscorp servers. Harry's work is safe, and I can finally get out of this weather. Sure. I've always got plenty of the other kind. I just posted a new article. Oscorp announced Harry's research stations are providing valuable data, so they're fully funding them. You're kidding. That's great. I just wish we could tell Harry. I know. I haven't been able to find out where they're treating him. I can't confront Norman about what we know without admitting to breaking and entering. Well, wherever he is, Harry's getting the best care. Whatever his faults, Norman loves his son. And his mom would be so proud. He really stepped up for her. You helped a little yourself, Tiger. You're a good friend. So are you, MJ. And wherever Harry is, he knows that. Can't wait to read the article. Officers respond. 